to your monthly insights and um, first of all give yourself a pat on the back for coming this far through this difficult year I think we've all had a lot to contend with and we seem to be slowly moving forward which is really good out of our lockdown here in the UK um, anyway what I've decided to do this month is a slightly different deck of cards I'm using I'm using the secret language of light which is very inspirational and very divine and the chakra wisdom tarot um, as well so I thought these two sets of cards work really well together and I wanted to bring you the best of the messages we can get so let's have a look and see what's in store thank you for subscribing and sharing please continue to do that um, it's really important we grow this channel so let's have a look and see what card is coming out for you. Right, so we have Versisca Pisces. Pisces, Versisca Pisces. Have you ever heard of that before? Right, okay. If you, if you look, there are two circles, okay? So you've got, this is the outer circle of us. This is our external world. And this one is our internal world. But when they lap over, this is the seat of the soul and this is where the wisdom is, yeah? But this is also where the creation is um, within us. And sometimes we have that battle about what we have to do on an external level, on a physical level, but what we really want to do on an internal level um, for what we really want. So this month for you, this is about sitting in that middle space looking at what you're actually doing but looking at actually what you're actually wanting and does that meet in the middle and here is the seat to create now for me i've got a very strong pull here to fertility so if any of you have been thinking about um having a family starting a family or adding to the family i feel this is a very strong time for people um, I know we've just had lockdown and there could be a baby boom through that, but for Taurus, um, this seems to come through. But what does fertility mean? Besides the what we would assume it to mean, we're extending family are concerned. It also means making things, uh, bringing the abundance through so everything that you work with becomes fruitful it becomes productive it becomes fertile you can start to see um, things growing off the work you've put in uh, bringing you the benefits it's like you've sown the seeds and things that are about to expand but this particular card is all about our inner um, what we internally desire but are we doing what we into does that internal desire match the external physical being mm, food for thought but think of fertility and abundance or something being created that's going to be so magical and so beautiful for you taurus um right let's have a look and see what we've got in the cards for this month of june I do have some eclipses coming up, so I will be doing separate um, audio clips on here. Um, you fed back that you really like the audio, so I'm going to do more where the moon's concerned and the eclipses. So please subscribe so you don't miss out on the messages that come through for that. Right, okay, so let's have a look. What do the Taurus cards say for you? One, two, three and then an overarching one five now interesting i was talking about the circles okay so you call it the circle of life we have there is no beginning there is no end it's infinity energy is infinity but we talk about it in a way of endless possibilities and we roll from one situation as we close the door into another situation we move in circles as well so circles are very important and the first card out here, you've got a major arcana card out this first week, 
is the Wheel of Fortune. And the Wheel of Fortune here is all about expect the unexpected. Now, it can also indicate there's been an emotional roller coaster going on. But as you see, she's got all the tools of the suits above her head. So she's got the pentacles, she's got the sword, she's got the baton, she's got the chalices. So that means she's got everything there at her fingertips. So this means that things are going to start to get much, much better for you. Um, it's almost like she's thrown it all up in the, in the air and said, well, it'll land where it will land and I'll just go with that. And pretty much this first week, that's a little bit more like what's going on. Trust, okay? Don't be frightened to throw it all up in the air and say, you know what? Where it lands, we'll go with that. But things are starting to fall much better for you. This week could see unexpected opportunities coming in for you, doors opening. Certainly things are much on a better level. And sort of out of the blue. This is kind of all about things happening out of the blue. And usually when it appears in your reading, it's saying, well, you've been through the mill, you know. But this is the card where it says, right, things are going to turn up and you're going to be sitting on top of the world. But like that, she's got all the tools. The tools are there. Everything is there. The mastery is, is there, you know. And it's just about allowing them to fall in your pathway and scooping up and going with that. So I feel it's a really important week, this first week for you, Taurus, in June. Um, go with the flow, take the opportunities, watch where things come out of the blue, um, but also watch where things start to get better, which is a good way to start the month. Right, okay, so second week we've got the Five of Wands. So in the second week, you may maybe you're starting back at work, maybe... You know, you've got a lot of things to juggle. Juggle This card was just don't allow yourself to become too bogged down with things. Um, you could be feeling a lack of energy here. It's like, oh, do I have to need to drag myself out of bed? It could be getting used to going back to work just, um, you know, when you've had a, some time off work and then you have to go in after a holiday. It's like, oh, can't get out of bed. Um, but it is one that would suggest that you may have a few extra struggles this second week and don't wear yourself out get plenty of sleep be aware don't let yourself get drained or tired um but it's also a really good um card for saying well actually you you know like if you've got to the top of the mountain you've nowhere to go but here you're saying well i'm working at that mountain and but you know this lady is sat in the blue this is about truth this is your throat chakra and she's sitting quite nicely there and the other ladies are all around her and it's like she knows what she's doing she knows she's got there and the others are looking up to her so i feel in some way that you are being admired here by your your colleagues your friends your family but this is about voicing your opinion in a nice way um being quite vocal and i feel this is something for some of you um you may find a little bit difficult to say what you really think but in a nice way but the energy of the moon if you go to the the new moon in a, a video that i did the sound clip um you'll understand what we're talking about but this is very much you being in prime position too okay might be challenging but you'll do it and you know, when we do challenge ourselves and we do make decisions and we move forward, then we go back and we look at ourselves and did I do the right thing? Could I have done something differently? In the third week, we seem to be reflecting. We seem to be looking at ourselves. You may be calling yourself into question over something. Maybe you wish you were stronger at saying things or more confident with things or more creative all of that can be fixed. All of that can be dealt with in different ways. But as this figure stands looking in the mirror, the mirror is looking back with swords. Now, I always remember that the way you criticise yourself is not always the way other people criticise you. The only person that can really, really criticise you um, in honesty is yourself. You know, <sighs> We are our own worst critique. And I think you may be thinking you're viewed in a way 
but actually you're not because in the mirror that's how you see yourself you can't see things happening you, you know you've got swords around you it's like people don't think I'm any good I'm not being recognized for what I'm doing but actually you are so be a little kinder to yourself okay right and then what was I saying about teaching ourselves about things we have the hierophant so this is all about education and your faith so we'll start with the faith side for some of you this is about you may have felt very tested with recent months events but this is about you've done it and this has created that moral core that faith within you uh, which has got you through your belief system and it's also saying don't take any shortcuts if you've got something to do do it the way it's meant to be don't take shortcuts because that's not going to win you extra places or save you extra time the other thing with this is about educating yourself or doing some learning now this could be some of you dealing with i know a lot of you been homeschooling um but this could be kids back to school you could be challenged with having some going to school and others not in school um so you, it could be like trying to find the balance but it could also be that you've decided in this time to think we've had with the lockdown that you may want to take on some extra learning maybe you want to get into teaching maybe you just want to be in a position to show the people how to do things um good solid reliable card it is the card of taurus by the way the hierophant sound solid morally uh, correct um, and also the intuitions there you see the third eye right at the top so it's like combining your feelings and your faith in who you are and what you are so that's the hierophant so that's the major uh, oh two major arcana cards there we go so two the so the first week and the last week especially important for you Taurus okay the overarching card is the princess of swords so this is all about clarity getting more clarity so if you're in a situation and you're feeling you're not quite sure of what things are about get that clarity ask more questions be more direct this could also indicate a little bit of gossip around you but you know what I think that goes on in life anyway um, it could even be just on another note there could be somebody around you telling you something they think you want to hear um, but it's not actually what happened so that could be around relationships or well, or even friendships looking at it and what I'm feeling with this as well so bringing that all together it kind of all ties in um, very much about the vesica pieces which is all the vesica pieces which is all about the seat of uh, fertility and you know, expansion of, you know sort of starting something off making it grow and then you've got the wheel of fortune where there's it we'll throw everything up in there and see where it lands and we'll follow follow that so all in all i do feel a very productive month for you taurus um just watch the little idle tongues but other than that i think you've got a lot of strength and i think you'll pull off whatever you put your mind to so in, enjoy the month of june so thank you for tuning in and i hope you've liked and subscribed and sharing it to people around so we can grow this channel so take care look after yourselves and see you all very soon